What's up, YouTube? Alex here, AK95. I bring you guys a 242 a.m. video. I'm super tired, uh, but I can't sleep right now. I'm just, I'm just not falling asleep. I just got off a Skype test session with a couple friends, um, and I figured I'd do a video that I probably should have done a couple days ago on uh, the decks for nationals that I think will be relevant. Um, then. <laughs> The thing is with this format, the way it's going, and the way the next format's probably going to go, uh, I think there's going to be just just an endless amount of decks that could win. Like, I feel anything can win, given uh, the proper luck and just the proper circumstances for an individual to have, you know, good matchups or just, you know, dice roll wins. Like, this, di this format is really dice roll heavy. Um, and I think next format will be really critical, especially with that rule change that we're getting where the turn one player can't draw. Um, but specifically for nationals, uh, the decks that I've, at least that I pr predict and will obviously be relevant are going to be, at least in my opinion, there'll be a huge showing from Gary Giaz just because it's a really inexpensive deck. Um, although I think it'll, the, the popularity of that deck will, has dwindled slightly, especially since the release of Lightsworn, the Lightsworn structure deck. Um, essentially you can make that deck now for 30 bucks plus like an extra deck meeting like Draco Big Eye. It may be like an Exiton or Arc, or just, you know, depending on what you're running, but the deck's really easy to build, and I think there's going to be a huge showing of that, unfortunately. Um, I really wish it was, that deck wasn't as popular as it was. Hopefully people play other things. I mean, I'll, I'll, I definitely expect to see Water there, especially that it won Euros. It's been really popular lately. I expect to see some books. I know uh, spell books have been popular. Uh, you know, Dalton Bousman and a bunch of other people are running the hand version. Um, people are running Temperances, some people are running the, the Justice version, um, especially with the SoCal. In SoCal, I, I've heard that uh, Boyajin and a bunch of other players have been running uh, Spellbooks. So I expect, I expect to see some Spellbooks there. I don't know how relevant the deck will be, but I definitely wouldn't discount it. I definitely wouldn't uh, overlook it as far as uh, a potential matchup that you could play against. Um, another deck is obviously Sylvans, which I profiled recently on my channel. If you guys haven't seen that, go check it out. Um, a lot of my friends are trying to convince me to play uh, Sylvan's. Uh, I'm really comfortable with the deck now. I know how to play it. I still, to be co completely honest, I haven't decided what deck I'll, I'm going to be using. Um, it's I want to stay away from Light Swords. I just, me and Milling, it, 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 it doesn't go well together. Some of you guys may have seen uh, uh, my YCSM Mateo. Uh, vlog or profile or whatever where I ran card troopers and dragon rulers uh, last what is it October now um, out of the 10 or 11 rounds I played I think it was 10 rounds 10 rounds yeah 10 rounds that I played um, every time I card trooper milled not once that I hit a monster except twice I hit a maxi so every other time I hit spells and traps so me and milling don't really go well together I know it's it's not good to you know use anecdotal evidence for things like that but it's just it's just how it is i accept those kinds of things and unfortunately that's how the reality is um i think realistically there's not really going to be a safe meta call for this event um if it was like a one or two deck even potentially just a straight up three deck format um it would be much easier to call and predict what the, what deck is probably going to be having the largest margin as far as, you know, victory, like the, the best chances at winning and the largest margin of variance in its favor. Um, variance is just going to be a huge deal. Dice rolls are going to be a huge deal. Um, so I, I can't really say anything. I, from my personal expectation, I expect the event to be pretty big. Um, probably not as big as last year, but I expect it to be pretty, pretty big nonetheless. I mean, it is nationals. It's in Detroit. Um, so we'll see how it goes. I definitely am not, like I said, I'm not entirely sure what I'll be playing. Um, I'll probably be going to Voltage Games on Thursday. I plan on leaving uh, San Francisco Airport uh, Wednesday and getting there probably in the evening on Wednesday. And then Thursday I'll probably go to Voltage Games, the grand opening for that. If you guys don't know, uh, Jeff Jones and Alex Van Sant are opening up a store in Michigan. It's called Voltage Games. Be sure to you know hit them up or get more inf information about that. I'll probably be too lazy or I'll forget to post the address and whatnot in the description. Uh, but be sure to go there. I'll, I'll probably end up going there. I know a lot of good players, a lot of pros are going to be there. So you know Jeff, uh, Silverman, Boyajian, Wiggly. You know, I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to be there. Pat's probably going to no Pat and 
Hoban and all of them aren't, aren't getting there till Friday. So, um, you know, we'll see how things go. But I wish everyone that's going to Nationals uh, a very safe trip. Um, and I'm not just saying that because it's Detroit. I definitely think it's, uh, you know, it's just wise to wish everybody a safe trip. I know uh, uh, one of my friend Steve, uh, when they had that car accident with Corey and Sinus and all those guys going to Vegas, YCS Vegas, it was, you know, I figure from now on I just wish everybody a safe trip. I, I hope nobody ever has to experience something like that. Uh, you know, and I, I wish Corey was going. He's a really chill guy, especially I've been talking to him recently on DN. Um, you know, Corey, I wish you, I still wish you a safe recovery, man. I know you're doing, you're getting better every day, day by day. Hopefully you can make it. Uh, but yeah, that's all I really want to say in this video. I'm not really too sure what else to talk about. I just think the, the decks that are viable um, are just the decks that have, like, there's there's not really any true power cards besides Soul Charge in this format. And even then, like, the power creep of that card and, you know, just a bunch of other cards um, kind of bounces out with the stuff that your opponent can use or just cards that can mitigate those cards so we'll see how things go um i don't know if i'll be doing any footage at this event or, I'll, or if i'll be doing any coverage especially because now i don't have i sold one of my other iphones and i usually bring a second iphone for coverage so i don't know i don't have a portable charger unfortunately and i don't think i'll be bringing my laptop so i, I don't know how it'll go as far as coverage i'll do my best to get the first place profile um, or just top profiles that people want to see. Um, you guys can definitely message me on Facebook, add me on Facebook, uh, go in the description of this video or just look me up on Facebook if you guys already have me. And during nationals, um, just tag me uh, or just comment and like send me messages like what you, who you guys want me to profile that you guys are seeing is doing well. Like if you're on dual scrounds or whatever and you're seeing someone's doing well, let me know and I'll do my best to get their profile, especially once, day, like once day one's over, you guys can kind of figure out who's going to top and who isn't. Um, so yeah, we'll see how everything goes, and uh, like I said, I wish you guys a safe trip, and I'll do my best to bring you guys one more video before I leave for my trip, either tomorrow or Wednesday, I don't know. Um, assuming my trip goes according to plan, I'll have a layover in Phoenix, so I might do a video while I'm at the airport, I don't know. We'll see. Um, if anyone has a camera, <laughs> believe it or not, that I could borrow at Detroit, or some kind of nice camera or something that I could use um, with like memory or whatever, that'd be really, really dope. I'd be really appreciative. Um, they could get like a good amount of footage. It's like high quality HD. Um, I would just want to borrow like the SD card or whatever, and then I would just send it to you like within the next couple days um, by mail if anything. Maybe we could work something out. I'd, I'd really be appreciative so I could get good footage from the event for deck profiles, um, but maybe a match, the final matches, as well as uh, the duel, the character duel or whatever that they always have at nationals. So hopefully I'll be able to get some of that stuff. I really don't want to make any promises. Uh, San Mateo was just so much easier to get coverage because me, Cordero, and Slim were all on it, and we all had three computers, and we all had multiple cameras, and we could all just bust them out, like, on the spot. Um, I don't know. I'll probably force Cordero to charge my phone and use his laptop if I get footage. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes. I love each and every one of you guys. Like I said, safe trip. Subscribe if you already haven't. Let me know what you guys are planning on playing for nationals, assuming you guys don't care. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think I should be using. Please no like, like, uh, you know, we'll see. Like, uh, I, I like to hear people's opinions. Uh, maybe there's some tech card I'm overlooking. I, I never discount anything unless it's like a completely um, bad idea. So yeah, peace you guys. And uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty much it.